Hey there, friends. Hey, how are all of you on this beautiful Sunday? And I got home really early and have not left the house yet. I'm going to wait for Facebook to gather me an audience and then I'm going to do a great little video for all of you. You guys are probably out enjoying the sun like I should have done today, but I did it yesterday, so that's okay. Okay, so as you come on, do me a favor. You know, sometimes Facebook gets a little iffy. If you can hear me clearly, uh, just hit the thumbs up button, the little emoji underneath this, in the, um, you know, underneath the video, it gives you an option of hitting the heart or the thumbs up. Hit the heart, the thumbs up, the smiley face, just so I, I know you can hear me clearly. And if you can see me clearly, uh, do the same thing as well. Okay, so let me make a quick little adjustment here and let y'all know that I am live. So in order to let you know I'm live, I have to comment in this section. Let me see, I see four hearts, five thumbs up or something like that. So when I start to see you guys pushing that button, I'll know that I am being heard. I once shot a video on Facebook Live and the whole time it was silent. It was like a 30 minute video. That was not an okay thing. Okay, so I'm gonna comment real quick. Can you guys hear me? Let me know. And tell me where you're tuning in from in the comments below. Um, okay, we have 20 of you on. If you can just tell me in the comments section, like I'm tuning in from Australia, I'm tuning in from Ohio, I'm tuning in from Southern California or what have you. Okay, so I've got a really cool show for all of you. Hang on. Hey, Steven. Hey, Hank. I love that name, Hank. That's such a cool, I had a bus driver named Hank. We, we follow each other on here. He's my favorite bus driver. Um, hey, Andre. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Steven. Hey, Karen Ben Dixon. How are you? Glad we have one sister on here, uh, Karen. Uh, okay, you guys. So here we go. Um, what I'm going to do today, we are going into retrograde. So Mercury retrograde is always, um, you know, a lot of things come up from the past. Uh, things of that nature. A lot of times, like, your computer won't work, your, uh, your cell phone goes out, you should take longer time um, to plan travel arrangements, things of that nature. But what also happens during retrograde, specifically this retrograde, so with the way the planets are, and I'm not an astrologer, but with the way the planets are right now, Mars, which is my auspicious planet, so it's the planet that counteracts me. So um, Mars is the planet of anger, it's the planet of truth, and um, it's the planet of, it's kind of like the planet of not caring what people think and really just always speaking your truth, always standing your ground, but it is also the planet of anger. That's why if you've ever dated like an Aries, um, Aries comes right after Pisces, um, Aries have a tendency, um, and I'm on the cusp of Aries, so I've had to really tame this side of me, and I have, I have, um, and it's only come out once in my lifetime, but Aries tend to get really pissed off if, um, you know, they're known as the Empress in the Tarot deck, uh, or the Emperor. So they don't have control of situations, they get angry. So usually when an Aries comes into like an awakening, they learn to temper their anger, their instability, they let go of control, and it's literally like a rebirth. So, but here's what's happening. With this particular retrograde, thanks for all the hearts and the thumbs up, you guys, I love that. Um, with this Mercury retrograde, it actually is ruled by Mars, which is the planet of Aries, so my auspicious planet. So luckily, I got hit with all these, you know, really intense feelings before, like about a week and a half, two weeks ago, all these intense feelings came up, and I went through that period of like five days of just completely being pissed off, at, you know, angry, and it felt, oh, excuse me. I'm going to spin on the camera. It felt like, um, 
like everyone was coming towards me that I had any kind of like beef with at that particular time. And that's what retrograde does. So, you know, you have to be really careful about um, the way you speak to others, what you post on social media, things of that nature during this time. And normally I wouldn't say that. Normally I, you know, I'm all about, you know, speak your truth, do whatever, you know, whatever. But during this particular time, I think it's important to be really animate about just really stepping back and holding off. And you'll notice I haven't really, or maybe you don't notice, you know, because the world doesn't revolve around me. Um, but, you know, some of you may have noticed I'm posting less and less on social media. We're going through this time where we need to do a deep introspection about ourselves. So, you know, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to share with you like seven tips on how to detox your home, your body, your mind, your spirit for retrograde. All right? All right. Okay, so keep those little hearts going. It increases our algorithm connection. So the number one way that I like to really detox my home, I even do it to myself, um, I'll take either Palo Santo, which is like a piece of wood, um, but it's a particular piece of wood, or I'll take sage, and you can see this one's completely burnt up. And I'll just, you know, I have a gas stove, so I'll just light it. You'll want to make sure that it does, that it is burning. We can see, you know, it's burning. It's burning. Burning, 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 burning. So what Sage does is it detoxes the energy. So for example, I just had someone stay here for like 20 days, they're gone now. I'll go around my entire house, I'll even do myself, you know, I'll do it up my dress, I'll be like, happy, happy dance. And I'll just be saging like all day. And the reason I do that is because I want my energy to embody my house. And you know, I'll say things as I sage my home, such as, Sorry, you guys, I had dental work done and I've got like a really sore tooth. Um, I'll walk around my house and say, I only invite loving, peaceful energy into my home. I only invite loving, peaceful energy into my body. I only invite, not that there's been anyone near my body. Or anything. I only invite, and I'll sage my car because I love my car. I uh, took it to the car wash today for the first time and it was like a bonding experience. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll really, I'll say a prayer. I'll walk around my house and say, you know, Jesus of Nazareth, God, universe, my angels, I call you in, Mother Mary, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, I call you in. I am asking you to please clear the energy in my home of any negative or toxic memories or energy and I ask that you bring only positive energies in. Sage. Now, Palo Santo is just to up the vibe of your house. So I do Palo Santo at different, at different times. Now, the second thing I, li I like to do is to create an altar. And I've created an altar in my home. It's upstairs in one of the spare bedrooms. And, you know, you can use things like those of you who follow me on here, I found a feather the other day and actually I just found a second feather in my yard yesterday. So when, when feathers appear in your life, it's a sign that you're being protected depending on the feather. A black feather, this one has some white and gray on it. It means your angels are all around you. You are divinely protected. So, you know, on my altar, I have, you know, this is a little ashtray type dish type thing I made for my mom in kindergarten. It's got my initials on the bottom um, and the number five because I was five years old. And thanks mom for keeping this. Um, you know, I have this with some crystals in there. I have a feather. On my altar, it's important to only put photos of people that have loved you unconditionally. So there's a photo of, you know, my family, my sisters, there's a photo of, you know, animals I've had, there's, it's just, there's a photo of my grandma because that, that is unconditional love that I still feel. 
and you know, I have a candle, but I have a dish of water because I bring in all the elements to this, uh, this altar, like earth, wind, fire, water are on this altar. And you know, whenever there's a full moon, there's an eclipse, anything like that, I go to this altar, or when I'm upset, or when I need guidance, or when I need to know the truth on which direction to go when I can't seem to make a decision about something, which actually rarely happens um, with, a, with a water sign because Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because we are led by our heart. So to where an air sign can ruminate on a decision for 10 years because they are all logical thinking. So what I do is I go up and I, you know, I'll pray and I'll do like a ceremony on this altar. I'll light a candle, etc. So building an altar, saging your home, using Palo Santo to detox your home, to detox your body. I told you, lift up your dress, ladies, you know, don't burn yourself. Don't, I don't want that email. If you burn yourself with sage under your dress, that is not, I didn't tell you to do that. Okay. So the third thing I love to do is I love these candles that are chakra energy candles. So this one is for the heart chakra. It is the yellow candle. It says love on it. This company, Aloha Bay, you know what? Somebody email them and be like, Andrea Cox is doing, because I need a box of these, Aloha Bay, all right? I need a box of your candles. So that one is for love. This one is for abundance. They've got a red one that is for money. Um, this one is for protection. And hang on, you guys, Roger needs out. I'm so sorry. Hang on. Okay. Ugh, those dogs, those dogs, those dogs have got my number every time. They'll like scratch on the door. I'll walk over there. They'll be like, change my mind, um, Roger. So I really love these candles. Now, one thing I like to do is I only like to light like one or two at a time because I don't want to like confuse my angels. I don't want to confuse the universe like, yeah, universe, I want abundance. I want love. I want money. I want protection. You know, I'll light one in the, in the, front room for protection for anyone who comes to my front door that they only have good intentions. And then I'll light one next to my bed for love or what have you. Usually who you dream about, that's a big sign for you. If you're having dreams about a specific person, even negative dreams, that can be like a past life you know, relationship that you're supposed to heal in this life, that you're supposed to ace in this life, that you're supposed to fix in this life. So, you know, write down your dreams. That's so important. It doesn't mean you have to be with that person, but if someone keeps reappearing in your dreams, that's like a big sign from the universe. So remember that. So I love these candles. Someone send Aloha Bay a message. Okay. Another thing you know, I have crystals all over my house, and here's just kind of a dish of crystals. These are my smaller ones. Oops, whoopsie. And um, this one, my mom actually got my sister Cassandra. I don't know why I have it. When we were in Florida, she got her this when I had to have been like seven years old. And so I like this one around because it makes me think of my mom and my sister Cassandra. And... Um, this is a clearing, a clear quartz, and this actually can clear the energy like of this that I wear, which is a copper pendant, which is really healing for the heart chakra and just the body. Hope I'm not overwhelming you guys with knowledge. Um, this one is good for making decisions. Don't ask me what it's called. Um, what I like to do is if I'm feeling lonely or I'm feeling like I want to invite love into my life or I miss my mom or something, um, I'll sleep with the rose quartz. And I have a pretty one up in my bed that's shaped like a heart that's smooth. This is an unsmooth rose quartz. Roger, stop. See, it's, it's not smooth. This one hasn't been smoothed down at all. It's really rough. 
So what I'll do is I'll just sleep with it in my bed. And you know, I'm careful. I have to make sure it doesn't stab little Lewis, but I'll sleep with it. So I want to talk about how we can kind of cleanse and detox the body because that is vitally important. So crystals are great to have all around the house, right? So let's talk about what we can do. I went from being a slob to a total clean freak over the past year. And so anything out of place upsets me. So let's talk about how we can cleanse and detox the body. <clears throat> One of the big things is to take a bath with salt and sage in it. Um, so sage is very, very healing for the body. The salt allows you to release negative energy or old, old ways of thinking or old, you know, people or, or what, what have you, not old people, but people, you know, from the past or whatever. Very, very, very healing to the body. Salt, sage, baths. Okay. I've been doing those regularly. Now, last but not least, let me check my list. Let me make sure I got everything. I'm pretty sure I did. Send me sage. Oh, also sage your car, um, create an altar. Okay, one more thing I want to talk about. No tarot readings or watching tarot videos during, um, even mine, during uh, retrograde. And here's why. You know, I watched one the other night that was so on point and it so had me opening my heart and wanting to like run back and, and go back. And it was like so on point. I was like, that's, oh my God, that's us. Oh, wow. Like that's, like I need to reach out. Like that's us. You know, if you've done your part in life or with your boss or in your relationship, if you've expressed yourself clearly, openly, honestly, with integrity, with, you know, if you've not, you know, left someone in the dark, left someone in limbo or whatever, and you've, or you've apologized or you've made good, you know, your job is done, basically. Now, if you're on the flip side of that and someone's done this to you and they come back once and then, you know, you don't see them again, you kind of know what that was about and you just kind of like push that under the rug. Because if someone, um, you know, people should be worthy of our uniqueness and our, our love and our open hearts, et cetera. And if someone wants to be in your life, they will be. So listening to tarot videos during retrograde is kind of like no it'll just make you overthink it'll just make you crazy so wait till after retrograde okay this is a real this is a real wicked time for all of that now sun tea i love this okay so these i made today you can see they're all pretty and here's one that i'm going to stick back outside and you'll see it has like green stuff in it what I do is I take herbs. This is fresh organic thyme. This is fresh rosemary. Ah. Rosemary is excellent for memory. Um, it's also excellent for hormones. And thyme is wonderful. It's like tall CT. Um, Thyme's great for, for food allergies. It's great if you have a lot of allergies. And I'll just stick herbs in a mason jar, like so. And I'll leave the top off. You can put cheesecloth over it if you're afraid um, that uh, any bugs will get in there. But I find that with the strong smell of the herbs, most bugs kind of reject it and don't go near it. I've never found a bug and I've done this for 15 years. And I'll just leave them in the sun, you know, for an entire day. And by the end of the day, they look like this. This is licorice tea right here. And this is a homemade, like a Tulsi tea that has had thyme in it and ginger and licorice. So it's got a really sweet flavor. And then because it's summertime, I'll stick these in the fridge and I'll just, I'll take one to the gym, you know, and why everyone's drinking their, you know, coffee that's burning out their adrenal glands. I've got like some crazy stuff. People are asking me, what is that? You know, whiskey? I'm like, no, it's Tulsi, thyme, rosemary, ginger, uh, you know, tea, licorice tea. 
Okay, you guys, did you like this video? I think it was like uber helpful. Um, I hope you enjoy this Mercury retrograde. You can look up online and see where your moon sign and your sun sign are. Also where your, where your Saturn sign is because that's like a lot of, um, that's your teacher. That's your, that's your, it's either your wife, your husband or your teacher. Um, so, you know, you can look where those are and then where you fall under this retrograde according to, you know, how it's going to play out in your life. Um, the sun's going into, we're in July, August, the sun's going into Leo. So, um, uh, it's, you know, all of us have like the Leo is kind of like ego, you know, it's a big ego. So all of us are in that and it's kind of a really strong feeling. So all of us are in that egoic strength type of energy right now. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, I'm going to go enjoy the sunshine and uh, hit Jimbo's and all that good stuff. Have a beautiful day. And I'll post my two websites, andreacox.com and also the detoxintuitive.com uh, in the description box right here. Okay, be well.